How do I tell someone I'm not ready to commit because of their financial status? I think you're amazing. <clears throat> you are. Oh, God Grace. <laughs> Let out. <laughs> but at this I point in time, Chris, I don't see us being, I don't, I don't see us being um, together right now. Why? Well, here's the thing. Um, I have stability in my life. And in my partner, I would like the same. You don't have that. Ooh, that end part. The mic is off. Oh, Ooh. mic is off. Oh, okay. <laughs>
80 something years old now. So he had it when he was like older. So um, growing up, he taught me, you know, be vigilant with your money. And even when I was in high school, he was retired. So he used to get uh, like a stipend. And because I was underage, I would get money too. He was like, okay, so this is what we doing. This is how we go budget. And I had a car then, so he was like, put money towards here, put some money towards there. And if you need to do this, have emergency. So it was always instilled how to, you know, manage money because what I ain't gonna do is you know, be out here and having to depend. That's what he's taught me, you know, to make sure that you have it for yourself. Yeah. Make sure that you can take care of yourself. Make sure if there's anything, any emergency, you covered. Um, you know, he was always there, but at the same time, it was like, um, you know, kids will be kids. And I had to learn, you know, how to manage my money. Um, even into the fact that uh, I really didn't have buyer's remorse, but it was like, well, should I? Well, if she got I it buy now. something, oh, shut mm. up. She got it now. I do. Why? Mm. We, we, that's we why we figure gotta, it out. That's you know, why it's fine. We start right here at the beginning. <laughs> why, yeah. why we can't treat ourselves? I would always, and same thing, I would buy for everybody else. I have no problem doing that. But when it came to me, I was like, well, I really need to do this first. Priorities first before me. Like, before I get my wants, let me get the needs together. And I'd be like, well, I mean, I can keep this money this way. I don't need this. I don't need that. I'm just like, I haven't bought stuff all the time. Like, I'm not used to that. But now it's trying to get back into it. Like, okay, it's okay to buy something. It's okay. Girl, it's some shoes. Buy them. You know? Okay, Nadia. I'm buying whatever. First money memory. <laughs> what you say? I'm buying whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm buying whatever I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to figure out how to get and yeah. buy whatever I want. Um, not to be shady or nothing like that, but I'm gonna. I, I don't feel no type of way about buying whatever I want for me, even if it's completely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy it, but probably as far as memory, I like I said, I don't really have a memory of money. Um, I just know that at a young age, my parents, my mom and my dad, both made it clear to me that it was important to be able to manage money and make money on my own. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to ask or borrow um i mean we're here but we don't want you to have to <laughs> come right. ask us. Right. but make it you know make your own money get a good job go to school or whatever um and make your own money however you make your money make 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 your money um and so that's just been stuck in my head make make your money and make sure that your bills are paid first mm -hmm. and then play after that mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. that would probably be my first money memory that's cute candace mm -hmm. what's your first money memory um, so I probably grew up in a house where money was never, ever discussed. Um, they didn't talk about it. Um, so I really don't know what was happening with my parents in terms of finances. So my first memory of money was when I got my first job. I was 15, um, working for Chick-fil-A. I remember getting my first check. It was like $460. And I started, you know, getting these checks, but didn't really know how to manage the mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I've car I carried those habits or lack of knowledge into like well into my 30s. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't start really becoming financially smart until probably like four years ago. Okay. Um, but at least you started. Hey, because yeah, and it, <laughs> some of us still need to still go figure to class. It out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I, you know, I I don't think they really just I love my parents, but I don't. I didn't feel like they set me up well mm -hmm. when it came to money. We're gonna go to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Well, to them parents. Mm -hmm. uh, them parents. <laughs> Do what they could. God bless them. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, my all first right. money men memory. Uh, would be her name is Miss Latanya Manine Moore. She is my mentor. Has been since I was maybe what ten years old. Uh, so she gave me my first check for singing, and that check was two hundred dollars, y'all. One hundred dollars in cash and a check. I hope that's not. Okay. But I was so excited to get that $200. I didn't know what to do. And I think after, and that was, I was young. And since that, since that point, I've been making money singing since then. And I feel like she kind of started, she kind of opened the door to heaven that said, Joy's going to make money singing. And it just mm -hmm. stayed open since I've been traveling. I think I even went on tour with her when I was 13. 
So we, uh, we've we been touring and traveling and all that. So my first money memory was music. And um, if we go into the next question is, did your family t- uh, talk or and or fight about money? Um, <clears throat> so we can I think everybody kind of dropped into that. So when it came to my family, uh, we don't really talk about money or fight about money. Uh, I just kind of knew based on by the time I got to high school where my family was in the rankings. Because growing up, I had everything I needed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know what I wanted until high school when I saw all the girls and the, mm-hmm. and the guys with things that mm-hmm. I, my parents couldn't afford. And then my parents let me know, you ain't getting that. Mm-hmm. You finna get this one pair of shoes a year. And you gonna rock mm-hmm. these look. Oh, y'all think I'm joking? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just real. real. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know this, what time it is. And, and your school less. clothes, your school clothes are worn at school. Your church clothes worn at church. And your play clothes worn outside. Mm-hmm. I just knew where my boundaries were but my dad worked my mom worked at the beginning of my life but I remember kindergarten that she quit her job to take care of us all the kids so I'm used to um seeing a you know the man take care of everything and the woman take care of everything at home uh so when it came to money I started realizing it when I got in high school and I had to go get a job because I wanted the J's mm-hmm. and I wanted my hair done I wanted my nails done and that was my first memory of like oh you gotta pay for stuff to live mm-hmm. right. and your parents ain't the ones to do it mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. no because we're supposed to be taking care of them now you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. it's like that's my first one but we didn't fight. We didn't talk about money. I didn't get no. Y'all got allowances? Yes, I did. You yeah, did? I did. I got allowances. But I always had a hustle and a job. Girl, so I was you didn't get no allowances. That's job. probably what. I would. Yeah, I would. I was my. So I did hair, and then when I was old enough to How like old were work, you? I started doing hair like eighth grade. I literally had customers. Like people came. I'm coming on Saturday. They had appointments and everything. That's why I don't do my hair now. That I let everybody amazing. else do it. So, yeah. so you was well, Chrissy, you was getting paid. paid. No, I worked too. And then I was. So and I Chrissy was had a work. check at thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy was in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy's been in her bag since two thousand. <laughs> She's been in her Getting bag. Getting bag. Getting so bag. So if you, candidly, <laughs> can you say how much you were getting? Um. Yeah. Uh. As far as when it was coming from my dad, it was like. 800 months and then I hustled and then I did If you would get 800 in high school. And then I had to sell them Cheetos. (laughs) No. Kool-Aid. You know that? (laughs) But the thing was, I had to make sure, my dad was like, no, make sure you're good. Because once I made sure I was good, everybody around me was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My friends, my best friends, like, you need something? Heck yeah, I got you. I met you so too late it in the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did God wait till we was all good? Why did God wait till Oh, we could have been. Oh, oh I, I mean. mean oh, I, I wish I knew that. So. Definitely. No, we, we made was all of us younger. We had a little money. Ooh. What? Yeah, we're we'll gonna talk about that. Yeah, yeah that's right. different. Exactly. The past, the past. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Too late to date, Lord. Yeah. Late to date, Lord. Okay. The next question, y'all. Uh, does finance it? Do finances matter? Ooh, now. Before I go there, what scares you about money? If anything, what scares you about money? Not having it. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. I think what scares me about it is having so much that I do stupid stuff with it. Oh, God. Mm. That's your scare? That's not my scare. I'm not scared. It is because oh, you, don't, you, is you it become to careless. To become, mm-hmm. I think my fear is to become mm-hmm. careless with money. Careless mm-hmm. Like to the point where I'm just spending, spending, spending. My bills will always be paid. Like I've never been that person. Mm-hmm. But just spending. Mm-hmm. Like y'all, let's pack a bag and just go. <laughs> oh, we don't. But that's y'all. doing anyway. We're doing we're that. Do, we're gonna do it again we next week. That. You know what I mean? Yeah, we doing that. That's I don't know if I'm careless really, or not. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Uh, I ain't scared. Uh, I ain't scared. That's why I have a fear. Not, not, not yeah. having it. Yeah, okay. I don't have a fear. I used to. You're always gonna have money. No, we wouldn't welcome that in here. Yeah. Not so let's just do that now. Let's just hold our hands out. Yeah. And just say money comes to me now. Money comes to me now. Flow freely. Flow freely. Uh-huh. Peace with peace. Come on, it come with peace and abundance. Yeah, come on, abundance. That's what we gonna get. It never ends. So, with no so sorrow. Currency. Come on, no sorrow. Yes, no. None. So we'll say that nobody at the couch yeah, is scared no, of this no scared. money. We ready for it to come this way. Yeah. Yep. And even how I spend it, it'll be wisely. Oh. Because if I'm treating my friends, oh, you know, and this you know, because you know what, I, I feel like 
I feel Working like the, <laughs> as we get older and you, well, me, as I get older and understand things better, I make wiser decisions. That's so I'm mean. not afraid of me making a dumb decision now when it comes to that. It might be something else, but it's not that. Not money. Mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. you. Because we definitely invest in. Yeah. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. It's beautiful. <laughs> 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 Ooh, okay. So now we're about to dig into a little, a little, a little bit. So does financial status matter in relationships? Absolutely. I think it matters for both people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dive into how and why you feel like it matters. Um, I've been in the position where I was the have and with the person who was potential. Mm. And Ooh, the potential. fear mm. of you having more than me always came up. From that other From person. From the other person. Okay. Because I was, hey, you know, look, like I'm the ride or die in this one. Mm. So it's cool if you don't. I knew you didn't. I don't want to not do because you don't have because mm. I got. But because I have, and then you feel threatened with my having, and then it becomes an issue and spills over, over into other things, that's an issue. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to water down how I live for you to be comfortable. Right. Or for you to be so comfortable that you don't want to come Correct. and get, go yeah. and get. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, Correct. yeah. Yeah. Stability matters. St it does. Yeah. Because if I'm stable myself, if I'm, t if I'm taking care of myself, like you can't just be coming in and be like, well, I mean, I can't. And because we are infants, because I care enough so much about you that I'm like, okay, you don't have to this time. And okay, I don't, they get stuck in that mediocrity. And I'm like, I, I didn't want that even for me, but I'm doing it for you. Mm -hmm. So at this point, if I don't have a partner, if we're not on stable grounding, if, because you, you, have, you have a safe space with me. You're, I'm dependable with anything if you're my partner. But if I start turning into your parent, we got to go. <laughs> so, so basically, if it, his a person's financial status um, or financial stability determines where y'all are going. Is that what, what you? Yes. Mean? Yeah. Okay. And then if you don't have like an unction to it, if you just mm -hmm. good right here, and I'm still trying to climb, and you're like, no, you don't want to be. No, like you don't want to be better. Come on, unction. Let's 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 right. do a little song. <laughs> you don't want to do nothing else with it. That sounds, that sounds real personal, Chris. You ever um? I mean, you know, we always got to talk about experience. That's all. You know, yeah, you know, want to hear about it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So you want to talk so, about Chris? What's your, so, um, <laughs> answer that question first, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna divvy. I'm gonna divvy somewhere else. Uh, does financial status matter in it relationships? Does. In my relationship, it does. Mm -hmm. It didn't in the past. Girl, mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. um, but it true. does now, for sure. Yeah. It does because I'm in a place where now I'm establishing myself to be living. In the beginning, it was a survival mode thing. Mm -hmm. Now I want to live. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want to live and I need somebody that wants to live as well. Right. Mm -hmm. It can, yeah. honey. Um, and can yeah. live mm -hmm. to where it's not, it's not uncomfortable for them to live and it's not it's not uncomfortable for me yeah. to live so Correct. yeah definitely it's in, it's important i'm not going to go as deep as saying that he got to be a he has to be a multimillionaire or he has to be a thousandaire i'm not even going to say that but you definitely need to for, be responsible with your money mm -hmm. and you need to know how to generate money mm -hmm. um if we need you to generate money. Yeah. Yeah. And however, if you need to generate money, yeah. you need to generate money. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same. Right. Yeah. Um, I've just always been a hustler. I, I'll pick up a hustle in a minute along with my job. So, yeah, it's important because I feel like if I can create money, you can too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I agree with everyone. <laughs> um, so does it matter to you in your relationships? And these could be friendships too. Yeah. Status wise, uh, financial status. Yeah. Because it'd be no. them broke friends. Yes. Yes. Wow. But wait, what can I add to my wife? You go finish? out of town and you broke. You was well, broke wait. in town. Oh, 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 so I'm oh, eating. Oh, eating. <laughs> and you order a wagyu. You them. order a wagyu steak. Oh, my God. Which is $60 an ounce. And you want a seven ounce wagyu steak. And you don't have seven ounce wagyu money in your account. And you look at the table and go, I thought we was all. Them friends got to go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> them got them got to go. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think that, um, at, especially in our age group, you know, when you when you young, it, 
you know, I don't, for me, it didn't matter. We was all broke together trying to figure it out. <laughs> right. um, but now I just don't want to be somewhere with somebody who can't for themselves. Mm-hmm. I don't mind doing for someone else, but like, I, need to, I need to know that you can do it if I don't. Right. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a giver. I do. I, I don't mind, but I need to know, like in my mind, would you, are you okay? If I'm not here? Yep. Like if I faint, are you going to put on my purse? And, and get my purse? Like, what's happening? No, I got you. So yeah. safety. I got you. And, and to add to that too, I, I also want to say that if the, the roles were reversed and I mean, it, it still is re, um, important regardless whether it's the man or the woman that is the um, dominant uh, in, uh, income bread, haver, bread winner. Bread, 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 I don't want to say bread winner because we're both getting bread, but if right. you're getting a bigger loaf than me, that's the winner. That's the winner. I mean, you want that one. You want that one. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, we all can come into interesting situations financially right. mm-hmm. in life in general. But then I don't also need you to make me feel like I am the uh, thorn in the side. If I, Because the thing is, and that's fine, because I'm going to always feed myself. Mm-hmm. Even if I ain't got, and I got to say, hey, friends, I don't have food today. And my friends allow me <laughs> to help me to eat. That's my food. That's not our food. <laughs> if it's a thing like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, if you're, if you're going to make it be a situation where, well, I mean, it seems like you, you know, you struggling and good. So we, let me, let me struggle. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying if you're making she me said, feel this like, my food. I said, I said <laughs> if me not being the have and I get I, from my people that are supporting me and you are making me feel bad in the situation mm-hmm. or saying things. So when I do get, Don't I want you to get to the side mm-hmm. and I'm going to get what I got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because you I'm mad. You got Layla. You got Layla. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, financial status. To me, uh, yes, it mm-hmm. matters. Um it's all. I think maybe uh, my upbringing has always mattered since I was younger. Um, I just never really played on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all out there are the same way. Y'all know what y'all want, but y'all choose different. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. And the next question is, too, um, in what ways have you chosen someone that's outside of what you, what you know you deserve the need and you and you take that person in him or she however you feel and you took that person in and you loved on them and you nurtured them and you brought them mm. up like a little tree mm. and you knew they was broke <laughs> and you was being a parent you knew they you weren't know, even just broke parent. they was broke in playing parent <laughs> and, was, and you said you said is you hot and this, this and the reason why i'm bringing this and you said to that person let me finish it you said to that person bump where you are in life I see you. <laughs> You're a diamond in the rough. Come over here where I can love and nurture you back to life is what I used to say in my not so conscious days. Right. And I would nurse these people back to life and they still would be protected. Oh, oh my God. God. Right? And so I think it matters. I think financial status <laughs> matters. Y'all, because yeah. mentally, these people who take care mentally, people who take care of their finances, have a have a different outlook on life than people who don't care how the money comes and how fast it comes and how fast it goes. If it's I spend a bad today and I make that mud tomorrow, don't want it. <laughs> Correct. I just want the plan on how to make money. So when we do invest in there, the bank mm-hmm. account says this because we invested in that, we know how to get that money back in this account. I yeah. need uh, financial literacy. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. financial intelligence is a must for me in relationships, um, even in friendships where where we're going mm-hmm. on the couch. Definitely want to be around people who are talking about the level up, mm-hmm. level up, you know. Yeah. So um, conversation should not be the same about money. Five years for sure. Ago. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Have y'all yeah. ever dated that person? <sighs> Which one? That y'all said, because men nowadays do not think women look at a man in his dark season and say, I want you. They feel like they look at men 
in the dark season and say, screw you. You're the scum of the earth. You're never going to be nothing. You are broke, nigga. <laughs> and they saying all of these bad things to these men who are actually good men. They're good men at heart. They just don't have the financial status of um, these other people who are on on social media. And I uh, had a few conversations with some brothers of mine. And they're saying how uh, Rico Love posted a video. And he said, y'all ain't got no birthdays. You need to celebrate your woman. Don't celebrate your birthday. It's for her. Like he was saying that he would make a check and bring it home to his wife is what he said. He's going to bring it home. And men were like, no, you can do that. We can't. <laughs> you know, so the pressure to be this big baller and have this bag today when it, t- when it takes years to mm-hmm. grow well, it's not overnight. Right. And I just want to be able to show some men that it's women out there who do not want to take only, but we like to build and give. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we also deserve to be taken care of Correct. along with that. So have y'all ever... Saw the guy in a bad season and been like, come, yeah. come stay. Cause I done, I, I've taken some people oh, in. Like, I I we all yeah. on this day on couch. We all had time. time. When we, we, we all right. Right. Yeah. Okay, you should say who has who not. Has Correct. Not. Oh. That might be the easier question on the couch. But, but I want to say who because okay, they understand. do not believe this exists. I definitely they have. They do not. I definitely have. I think, yeah, I think every last one of us has because we love so hard yep. and because we saw, you know, we love, we see the potential. Women automatically see potential in anyone, any man, any woman. So we're going to go past, we're going to see past all that shadow. We go, I see who the true you is. I see you. You're not who you are right now, but I see you. Mm-hmm. Like it's, that's a potential. So <laughs> it's like we, we <laughs> attach ourselves to that idea of who they are Absolutely. instead of who they are in that moment. So it's like, we're grooming, we're grooming. Yeah, I love you. I, I do this for you. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I, so we it's always a support. Him. We're always there. We're always there. And then at the moment, it's like, in the um, it kind of clicks. Like, so when can I have? Mm-hmm. Is it okay for me to sit mm-hmm. in my feminine? Ooh, girl, no. Not, not with that type. You know what? I ain't right. gonna lie. Uh, I, somebody told me this. Uh, uh, <laughs> somebody told me this. Oh, a while back. Uh, and it was like, why are you always so messed? Like, you always got to do this. You always got to do that. I'm like, but you haven't set up the space for me to even sit in my feminine at all. So for what mm-hmm. the masculine is, it's, it's a lead. You do things. I have to do this. I have to do that. So for you to say, why you got to do it? Well, you do it. Mm. So who I don't have to do or it. Who's who going to do it? To? Because I feel like with us all, ta- or with me, right? Me taking in, and I'm not saying I want this to be done necessarily because I don't know if I'd be able to accept it fully, but nobody has done that with me. Nobody has what said, you I'll, you know what? You just be, you be this ball and you, you just be. sit <laughs> and I'll, I'll and do, I'll do everything. <laughs> that's, that's never happened. I've always, just, you know, I've either done all or I've done majority, mm-hmm. even in my even in my marriage, I you know what I'm saying? like I did. It. Even though you brought in money, I I made sure everything was done. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't feel like a. And if I said I want to go here, I want to go on vacation, I want to blah blah blah. Well, hold on, we got. It. What do you mean? Hold on, we got. It. I've been holding on since we holding. Mm-hmm. Can I not hold, hold on, on, on anymore? I don't want to hold on no more. You know what I'm saying? But. So I feel like it's it's interesting where I know women like us because we are that woman. We take in, we've taken in, we've we've nurtured, we've mothered, we've grown the, right. you know, child, we've mothered. But a lot of us have not necessarily had that reciprocated. Yeah, of course, not necessarily from that person. Oh, but definitely not from that no, person. No, not yeah. the person. I'm just saying all of us haven't had the pleasure yeah. of mm-hmm. then sitting back and saying, okay. Not today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't have to do nothing. Yeah. I definitely... um. I think that might be the reason why I went the route I went when I when it came to dating because I had been I've taken in so many. Mm-hmm. They're awesome guys at heart. It's just where I was going and what I wanted. I wasn't in a position to take care of a man with a child and myself, and him living with me too, and not paying bills. It was hard. Mm-hmm. It was like it's hard enough as single being a single mom alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was small. He was like three months. Like he was small. So I'm breastfeeding him and breastfeeding him. God, like, I'm right. like, you were not what in the world? I'm really running out of breast, but <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, yeah. it was it was a lot. So I yeah. I said in that house, and I remember both of them were asleep, and <laughs> and I was trying to figure out 
how I was going to pay the bills because where I was living at the time, the other people couldn't either. So I was like, wow, okay. So now I got to pay all of that and not just my piece. And he's sitting over here, can willing and able body. Mm, and sleeping soundly. Soundly, okay. <laughs> um, but in that moment, I literally was like, oh, I'm never doing this again. I'm never taking care of a man ever again. And that's what I, and I said it just like that. It's changed a little bit today, but it led me into some situations where the finances was through the roof. Like, I ain't have to worry about a dime, like nothing. My, my bills, it, nothing. I was the ball that could sit there and not move <laughs> for years. <laughs> But it came with a price that mm -hmm. half of the world can't even pay. And you look at me today, redeemed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, redeemed. Yes. <laughs> redeemed. Okay, but it costs babies. Who, who, all the girls out there who say, oh, he got a bag. Okay, he got other stuff too. Mm -hmm. And half this, and most times, most women really be in love because I was in love with my people, like in love. And yes, it was more than more than once, and you know, um, and I love them. And it was hard to get away because you're saying no to stability. You're you're literally saying, okay, once they're gone, what do you have? And mm. your money start looking real slim. <laughs> your, your personal account just started getting real slim Is because now you gotta pay. <laughs> What did you say, Chris? She said, is that what's this in there? <laughs> <laughs> so you mean this whole time they go <laughs> right. right. And it's tons of women who go through that, where, yeah. they, where they even move into, I, luckily I have my own apartment, you know, but some women have to leave their houses with their children to start all the way over. And that is not easy. So ladies, when it comes to finances, find a man with a good heart first. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even saying don't go for the brother that, is not financially stable both. at this moment, but make sure his heart and his mind is yeah. ready to make. And he has a plan. Make some stability in yeah. your life, okay? Because yeah. both of them going to cost. Absolutely. <laughs> but as long as you focus on you and what you got, either way, if either one of them leave, you straight. And that's what we want to make sure we're good today, okay? Um, Y'all ready to move on? Mm -hmm. Cool beans. Okay. <clears throat> what is a good time for women to discuss finances. Now. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. What is Date okay. number one. Okay. Yes. At this point. So, now. so everybody is saying the best time to discuss finances is at the beginning. So for women who don't know what that looks like, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna we're gonna say what that looks like. So you're saying date one. first date, mm -hmm. when you sit down with a guy, mm -hmm. you're telling the girl and or the guy, we could go both ways. Um, you're telling them to ask financial questions on the first date. You want me to tell you how my formula? There you go. Yeah, <laughs> tell tell people your formula. formula. So my formula is, no, how much money do you make? It's not that. Mm -hmm. I ain't that trashy. I ain't got no class, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no class. No, but it's not, it's not that direct. Like you, you, you know how to probe a person and, and see what where they, they are. What they don't know how to probe? Yeah. Well, so you learn how to probe. So, um, you know, what's your career field or what do you do for a living? Mm -hmm. And you can pretty much gauge where they at. I'll ask, like, are you good with money? Are you responsible with your money? And just based on the conversation, I'll just keep digging and digging. I don't necessarily I've, I've never asked flat out how much money do you make? Mm -hmm. I've never asked. Because men that. are getting asked that. These and days. I want yeah. you to ask me how much money I make. Because I'm not Cause answering you. Because it's none of your business. Mm -hmm. I don't know you. Unless you're my husband. But it's none of your business. Come on. I don't, I don't, know, say you. That? I don't know you. I don't know you. What are you <laughs> telling you? That, that's dumb. Yeah. Um, you just don't disclose that information. And you just don't make a person feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Just jumping out the gate saying, hey, how much money you make? Because now you don't change the whole dynamic of the conversation mm -hmm. or their idea of what you might look like now in their mm -hmm. eyes. Because you asked that simple question. And it was nothing intended but you just i really want to know like hey how much money you make so you're okay and so what's the best question to ask and how i would probably just ask you know what do you do for a living okay and then okay and then they say if they say something that you're not interested in and it's based on preference if you if they say oh i work at mcdonald's hmm. on a night shift hmm. <laughs> do you own it 
Okay. Oh, so bad. Not you. I don't so know if he's you going the, to lock up. Are you the night manager? Are you the night manager? I are like you, that one. Are you the are you the franchise you owner? The the drive through clerk at night. <laughs> I always say like no say I don't want you. anybody to feel bad about wherever you work but I just know at the place that I am in my life what I want what I know I deserve um I'm not saying that my standards have always been that way because they're not they haven't um but they are what they are now yeah <clears throat> and so you know I just ask I would say you know where you work at or what's your career choice okay. uh, did you go to school yeah so what'd you go to school for Mm, whatever what's your alumni? Gotta right or all of that or you know okay all right i think it's and, where you meet them as well it is if you're willing to because i'm and not we'll willing to meet them. everybody True. some people i might be like hey i can meet you in the middle but you you no, two you two on the opposite end of the spectrum yeah. she was saying the location yeah, like, like location. where you meet the person oh yeah yeah for sure because i'm saying oh, oh, and if they say hey let's go out to eat and i'll name a place and they're like oh hmm Huh. Yeah, it'll get you that. Yeah, yeah. Listen, when you, you gotta be saying, "Gotta be cool, 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 Okay. Well, Goo, I ain't never had that. I really want, so well, I really want, um, what you about to say? I was just going to say, though, I feel like if it's a situation where we just, we're just getting together to have fun and I know that there is, it's nothing more than this meal, I'm not asking you any of them questions. Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, I know that. Like, it just Absolutely. depends on yeah, where y'all are. I think, so, with. me though, I, I'll say this to some, I have a different opinion. I think we should wait to maybe third date. Why? Um, to see, cause cause people be lying, y'all. They do. They and do. hear me out, women. This is how I used to. F- I don't really want to give all my games away. <laughs> if you go to my website and you d and you send me a message to my email, I'm I really I'm gonna I'm write down five questions to give y'all to ask these men to make sure that they got the finances that you want them to have. I ain't gonna give it away on this show though. Go to my website. It'll be in the link. Cause it's up. It, and um. <laughs> I love my friends. Always. Y'all are gonna get five questions to ask these men because my brothers out here are dope men, and oh, y'all yeah. are over, hey, y'all are overlooking them Am. for Am. crazy reasons. And of course, we all want a financial sta- financially stable guy, but that's not everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. Um, and I want men that's watching to know we don't think it's everything either. And there's a ton of other women who don't. There are good women out here Absolutely. who care about y'all spirits and souls more mm-hmm. than y'all money. And it, I think it just need to change. We just need to cancel the whole. He got to have a bag for me to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Because you ain't got. Because y'all missing out on the bag. You don't even know what to do with the bag when you, you get it. If you're, if you're you're really, the bag, man. <laughs> actually, oh, Lord, if you're really Time that queen, y'all. Bus. If y'all really Stop. that queen. You can with another with a king build something miraculous. Absolutely. You can. Absolutely. I'm doing Absolutely. it today. Hello. Yes. Okay? Hello. We're building and it feels good. And I wrote yeah. that down on my list because it used to be he need to be wealthy, fine, <laughs> fine, wealthy, fine, <laughs> nice, fine, wealthy. <laughs> it was that, and now it's kind-hearted, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. mindful, mm-hmm. work ethic, Ooh, self-aware, loves to Very. build. I wrote it all differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's different now. It's, it's, it's got a little substance in there now because I done right. did my trips. I done had the money. I done had the black cards, platinum cards, all of it. It comes with a mental though. Joy! <laughs> oh my. Oh, <God>. So. <sighs> so we living. I want somebody to. I want somebody to. Right in the side of So here. next question. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Um. What's more important in relationships, <clears throat> love or money? I don't love. think one is love. more important than the other. Ooh, love. that's good though, Chris. If you feel that way, since speak me, love is more important. Yeah. Oh, and I say this because money. If can you really love tomorrow. that person, yep. why? Yep. 
You could build just about anything. I'm telling you. At the same time, love kind of clouds you from what you're seeing at a certain age. At a, right, at a certain age, age now. Mental. Not a certain age in a certain space. 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 Yeah. Okay, I'm just. Well, we could say age. What a minute, space. meaning wisdom. Why? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like what you what you've been through. Right. Yeah. Should let you know. Even just even like I was just saying with me and um, with me and Bay. It took me a minute to get to the place where I was like, oh, I gotta actually go till the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually gotta take a shovel and pick up dirt. Like mm. I ain't used to working. Mm. I'm not. I, you know, and <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like this more. I feel like with wisdom, it has to be <laughs> yes, love is foundation. Um which I is most think, important to you. If you to me, I don't know, cause I could be all the way in love and be like, oh, don't worry about the money. And oh no, nah, yeah. we ain't doing but we're that. We not saying that. No, that ain't what we saying, sis. <laughs> I ain't say that. <laughs> hey, it's not what oh, we did that already. We not doing that. Yeah, I ain't doing that no more either. I said which one is more important. Not that other one isn't important. <laughs> which one is more love first? Love is for me. Okay, cause if you can't right. love me well, Ooh, you can boy. get money. Oh, money. But if come. you can't look like how you handle me, how you treat me, yeah. Tomorrow you can wake up and literally all the money that's stacked up in your house is backed up by nothing. It's a worthless paper. How are you handling me? Yeah. If you mishandle my heart, if you mishandle this, because this is a prize. You're a prize too. I'm not going to mishandle you if you exactly. lose everything. You said that. Yep. But yeah. if you, yeah. Because I, ooh, I've been there. Friend, you said that. Handle me with care. Because you, honey, ooh, you, you, can be, you can be right over in Tulum. In a whole penthouse suite looking over the ocean. And that man and the nigga just like, oh. Yeah. And you had to put on a little makeup yeah. to go outside to eat your little To smile. Yeah. For the yeah. It's not, it's no, not worth How it. How are you handling Get me? Get you a man who carry you like this. L- yeah. Listen. The moment you even, he even think you stubbed your toe, he like. Are you okay? Yes. You get you one that holds that you. That feels yes. 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 Love yes. me. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. I got it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know because I want to be in love. I mean, I understand. I want to be in love. I don't know. I don't know. Because stability is so, so close to me. I cannot be all the way in love with you if I'm not stable with you. I can't. Mm. <sighs> It is no, changed. I just, I just, it, I it, it is a change. I was there. It's, it's like, I mean, Chrissy I'm, is like that because she hasn't had that. No, she that's, hasn't that's had what somebody yeah. to just carry her. Yeah. Same with I me. Am. I'm like that because I haven't had somebody to just, hey, babe, here. I, don't worry about it. I got it. I'll take I care of it. You're hungry. Me, I'll cook for but you. But I've not it's been loved been that. well enough times. Yeah. That, and, and the money wasn't the thing. Yeah. Yep. How you treat, like, that does not. Love has always been the thing. It's yeah. never yeah. been. Like, so for me, you didn't mean. handle me well. And I don't care enough about your money now because I don't care <laughs> if you handle me wrong. I don't care about your money now. I wish that, I, well, that ain't really my story. It ain't really been about love for me each time. I know definitely. No, it's been times where yeah, that wasn't the No, 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 not not each not in the past. Oh, right now you're saying. Oh, yeah. right now it's about love for sure. Right. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, cuz in the past, love, man. We love yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> we, but look, we, exactly. we love him. <laughs> we love him. Oh, right. We love how he loves you. We oh, right. love him cuz we see how he loves you. And it's genuine. And it's so genuine. All yeah, that's way. nothing that we ever be like. I and who know about us. this one? We and he loved that he loved us. He loved us. It's and I love that he love you and he's like, <laughs> yep. oh, and, and, I, and, I, and not only does he have money, y'all. It's stable. We like, have money. money. Let's build. But well, see, we can make it a we. <laughs> but, and again, if we can that, get that, it, I, you it's can a partnership. My yeah, it's a partnership. And it took and a minute. You can care oh. for me. But yeah. if you can't build, if you're not, oh, absolutely. Building, if you, if you're not showing me leadership in something, then I, I get turned off. Well, baby, if you can't lead your life, you sure can't help. We yeah, can't so lead one together. I, I um, <clears throat> so women, let's be mindful. Let's be mindful of the hearts of men. Even when y'all, even if he asks you out on a date, relax. If you, if you can make money, that's the most important part. <laughs> if you have money, if you have your own stuff, that's the most important part. Don't go to a man thinking that he finna Ooh, take you out of the and make you something. Establish yeah. you. Don't don't put that pressure on nobody because you won't want that pressure put on you, baby. Absolutely. Mm. So don't do it to the men. Mm. Say that. Men, mm. 
gird your loins. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard out. No, seriously, it's yeah. hard out here for y'all. Yeah. It, and it ain't gonna get no easier nope. because the truth be told, it's black hard. men are making money these days. They ain't finna stop no time soon. Mm -hmm. Get on the wagon. It's enough money for you, you and, and the rest of your homeboys who say, man, he out here talking like that. You could be that dude mm -hmm. speaking, have, have the wealth and being given wealthy knowledge mm -hmm. with good wisdom for other men that don't have it yet. Okay? So this part of the show, we're going to answer two questions that people sent into my website. And we're going to answer those Can together. <laughs> Because it's up. Because it's up. <laughs> the first question that a lady asked is, <clears throat> I make $150,000 a year. I take myself on trips very often. The guy that I'm dating cannot do that for me. Is it selfish for me to want to break up and find someone who can do the same or more? Go ahead. Nick. I don't think that is selfish to ask that. I think that's just a matter of her preference. That's mm -hmm. what she wants. That's mm -hmm. the lifestyle she wants to live. So period. Or partner yourself up with somebody that can meet you there. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, don't go into a situation expecting that from everybody because that's not everybody's story. That's not everybody's right. reality. But if that's what you want, sis, be great. Go I want you that. to be great. You, sis, be great. You mm -hmm. and Boo to be great. Mm -hmm. You know, but don't. I don't be upset or don't be feel like it's it's a selfish ask because it's not. That's what you want. Yeah. Right. Ask for it. Purpose. I'll say this too. Uh, thinking that what you want is selfish is trauma in itself mm -hmm. because it's almost like mm. out overlooking yourself and forgetting about you to please mm -hmm. someone else. And not even and not even the guy that you're trying to break up with, but the new one that's coming. You're yeah. already gonna be if you don't if you don't work on the selfish part, you feeling like it's selfish. You got to come into everything like, oh, what I want is 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 good, right? Whatever I want, honestly, that's what this is about. You getting what you need, me getting what I need. It's not a it's not a compromise when it comes to you. So I would I would say work on that work on uh, the people pleasing thing. And start pleasing you. If it feels good to you, do it. If you if that relationship not working, be done with it. Mm -hmm. um, with anybody else have something to say else? to her? Well, I was just going <laughs> to ask because you said if he isn't able to do that for me. So is it a because he cannot do that? Are you saying you have to stop or are you saying you, 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 do you yeah, I think I think it's because he can't do it. She she's feeling because he can't do what she wants. She's feeling like. It's selfish of her to feel bad, like, oh, but he can't do it. So, yeah, is no. that so what you said to first find is more to me is the thing before you talk about somebody else. Like, mm -hmm. why do you feel it's it's a selfish thing to a, want this? Because if it's mm -hmm. something that you want and you've already been doing it, somebody will meet you there. You can keep doing that. But in it relationships, to, in relationships, sometimes when we with that person, because mm -hmm. I've been I've been there where I'm looking at him like, dang, he can't do it. Let me not be mean. Let me not. Let me mm -hmm. not be mean. And it's like it's. I guess it's a woman thing of the nurture. I guess that's the nurture. Yeah, person. and it's yeah. just it, you know? it's a matter of being considerate of that man's feelings yeah. and yep. his hearts. Like you don't, as a woman, you just don't ever want right. to be in a position where you're demeaning a man mm -hmm. right. or emasculating. So him. I think it's. I think the question is just like her trying to have a softer approach and making sure like this just not me being crazy. It's and sometimes we get like that, girl. You're not selfish, and all the other women out there and men, you're not selfish for wanting better, ever. Correct. And, and even with the person that you and be made, nice and be nice though. <laughs> okay. Be nice. Yeah. Send him off with love and light, and tell him that he can do what he feel like doing, like as far as money or whatever his dreams are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Another one. How do I tell a person? How do I tell someone I'm not ready to commit because of their financial status? I think you're amazing. <clears throat> you are. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Let <laughs> out. <laughs> but Let me ask like you, Chris. <laughs> I don't see us being, I don't, I don't see us being um, <laughs> together right now. Why? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> um, I have stability in my life. And in my partner, I would like the same. You don't have that. Oh, the end part the was. Mic is up. Oh, the mic is off. Oh, mic is off. It was so rough. The end. A nicer way <laughs> to break it down to your partner that you've been dating for a while now. Um, Chrissy, Chrissy will do that though to her partner. Trust me. No, she's working she's on it. You're getting better. Chuck nicer. Produces, okay? You're getting better. I'm nicer. You're getting better. Thanks. I appreciate She's still that. trying to balance whether love and money are important. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is how you tell somebody <laughs> that you're not ready to commit to them for financial reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the website. Go to the website. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I would be what Chrissy said for sure. But just be gentle with people's yeah. hearts. We're breaking yeah. up, y'all. Yeah, yeah. These people, because you <laughs> trust me, because her last breakup, y'all. <laughs> That man probably. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, but be nice to these people, and I would say if you if you're not um, if you're not ready to commit to somebody for financial reasons or any reason, mm-hmm. you know, I, baby, I was don't any. don't mm-hmm. do it. Tell these people I'm not. I, I'm not ready to be anybody's right now. And don't. And, and this right. this. But I think this is what people mess up. Y'all get in the relationship yes. and, say that. and get and deep then. in it and have two people involved in love mm. with each other. And then y'all be trying to talk about, well, that ain't it. Mm-mm. You lie. Know at the beginning what you want before y'all start dating yeah. important people. Because y'all, because everybody dealing with something different behind yeah. the scenes. So, yeah. I had fun talking about this. I hope this helped a lot of y'all with your financial and dating stuff. Um, I hope the men feel more secure in their lives to just go focus on their work and not so much on taking care of somebody else or mm-hmm. be, you know and be confident y'all are handsome intelligent black and white men if you're watching <laughs> or any, any race of man honestly because <clears throat> I, I was i was i wanted i was talking about my brothers um specifically we but can you know too. <laughs> um them. all men everywhere and all women everywhere just be gentle with each other. And we're going to have an episode one day where we have men and women on the couch and we're just going to talk about the same issues that, we're been, that we've been facing. Because I want us to come together as, as, a, as a people to love on each other a life. bit more. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching the couch. I hope this was informative and helpful. Everybody bye. say bye. 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 <laughs>